gonna give this my best shot. I've never done this before. And then once you you got two streams, you start spraying. Sounds easy enough. Famous last word. <laughs> you look like you jumped in a pool. I feel like I jumped in a pool. <laughs> Okay, so the time has finally come. We are ready to start spray foaming. We've actually been ready for a little while now, but our spray foam kits took a little bit longer to come in for whatever reason, because of special freight shipping. And then on top of that, we had some cooler weather. So now we finally have a semi warm day and at least within the range and also everything's prepped and ready to go. So. I'm gonna give this my best shot. I've never done this before. I mean, mixing those two two parts together, they can be tricky, but it looks pretty foolproof. So I don't know. I guess we'll see how this goes. Oh my gosh, why do you have to say that? <laughs> One thing I do know is this can't be any worse than last time. Daddy, we like to order, Daddy. I have the utmost confidence in you that you're gonna do a good job. Thank you, but. <laughs> I guess we'll see. <laughs> yeah, so in total, he's going to be doing around 1,100 square feet of coverage at one inch. We're not gonna be doing the one wall here where the wood stove and all that is because we still need to get the whole utility room built once it is in the mountains, but so we should have enough. We have two kits, and like he said, he's never done this before, so I'm quite curious to see how it all goes. We contemplated doing it with our house, but we just figured we would need too many kits. Yeah, too many kits and also it uh, crawling under the, the house and doing all right. of that and mm -hmm. me not knowing what I was doing and expecting a professional to spray better. So that's that was our reasoning last time. Right. And yes, these are the same Tyvek suits that we used last time. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> that thing is uh, <laughs> really tight on your crotch. <laughs> I don't think that's made for tall people. <laughs> think we're ready. So in order to spray foam, the surface that he is spraying on needs to at least be 60 degrees. And the actual tanks for the spray foam have to be at least 75. And like he was saying, we've had some difficulty like waiting on the weather and everything. And then the tanks were too cold. So this is what he's been doing to warm them up. He just had all four tanks right here with the mirror in front of them. We got the reflective insulation. Hey, it worked. It brought them from uh, the bottom of the tanks. We're reading roughly about 62, 63. And now they're reading over 75, so. And there's surprisingly, these things are very heavy, or not very heavy, they're probably 40, 50 pounds a tank. And it just, there's a lot of mass there, so they took a while to heat up. Daddy looks like a bunny. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing now is just trying to kind of shake it up. I saw some other guy do this. So just kind of shake it up for a minute. Both parts, this is part B, I believe, and then also part A. So the directions seem pretty straightforward. Um, once all your temperatures and everything are in range, go and hook up these hoses, one to part A and one to part B. Put a little bit of petroleum jelly on the threads and then do a test spray to make sure you're getting two streams. And then once you're, you've got two streams, you start spraying the test spray. Sounds easy enough. 
<laughs> so what he's going to be doing is one inch on all of these walls, on the ceiling, everything. And the only area that he's not doing is this wall over here where the bathroom is and the kitchen area because he still needs access to those spots. So now it's just to make sure I got two streams before I attach my nozzle. Looks like it. <laughs> now this is a cone tip. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Only thing is you gotta move pretty efficiently. Apparently cure is very fast. Alright, here goes nothing. Whoa. Do you want your hood on? Oh, yeah, I'm not doing you don't want it to get in your hair. The hair I have left. <laughs> How's it look? Okay, I guess. <laughs> this is going to be quite a difficult process to film because I can't really be in there obviously being pregnant and then I can't just leave the camera in there because that would get destroyed so and he can't really film because he's having to move very quickly because everything starts to dry and all that like really fast so I don't know I'm gonna do my best but <laughs> we'll see it's funny because before when we spray filmed our house I was pregnant then too but Spencer went in and filmed so yeah, I don't know. What do you do? <laughs> Doesn't make a very good YouTube video if you don't have footage of it, huh? <laughs> you look like a mouse. <laughs> a mouse? Definitely didn't do enough prep. Didn't think about the floors. Didn't think I would be spewing spray foam everywhere. I should have laid some paper down or something. But other than that, it looks like it's going on pretty good. Can't complain. good man it is hard to breathe in this i don't know how. i am soaking wet i don't know how you're doing this holy smokes i am dead <laughs> it was so hot in there between this suit i don't know how well it breathes but also I think the temperature in there was, it was definitely over 90 with the spraying. Like I hovered over one of the spots that I had already sprayed and the chemical reaction just, you can feel the heat coming off of it. So that makes it even hotter in there. It's so crazy because it's nice and cool out here. I mean, it's 60, it feels awesome. Yeah. Can you imagine if it was any hotter? I know, I can't imagine the guys that do spray foam in the summer getting into attics and crawl spaces and oh no <laughs> the tag came oh off my there. gosh that's how soaking wet i am it's like <laughs> sticking to me oh that wind is cold i'm ready to get in the shower you look like you jumped in a pool i feel like i jumped in a pool <laughs> yum <laughs> oh my gosh now i'm cold You've been working out. Oh my god. <laughs> Seriously, you look good. Day two on the spray foam project. Well, I have a feeling this is going to be uh, more than two days. Obviously, I can do an entire a spray foam kit within that day, but 
I mean, it only takes an hour and a half, two hours in total completion. But um, I figured I would take you inside and kind of show you the good, bad, and the not ugly, but not great. <laughs> All right, so for starters, some of the things I've kind of learned, obviously there's two tips. I mean, I imagine most spray foam kits come with two different style tips. You got a flat style tip to where it's going to lay a more flat kind of spray. So those are good for empty cavities and stuff like that. And then you got a cone tip, which is going to be more direct spray. Uh, yesterday, I tend to favor the cone spray just because it was overall easier and you can get your application more thorough, but I think I'm gonna switch it up today. So I'm gonna start with cone tips, kind of go around each cavity and just kind of work around and then switch back to a flat tip just to kind of fill it out because I think I was going a little heavy and it's not quite as even as a, uh, a flat tip would be. So let me show you how they look like in comparison. So first off, the flat tip. So I did this entire cavity right here with a flat tip. It lays it more consistently, but the issue is it, it, I mean, it's not really an issue. It's just, it doesn't put it on quite as thick. So I only have roughly about a half of an inch right here. So I'm gonna have to go back through and do this cavity again. And that's also again, why it's spray, or I mean spray painted, just so I know which cavities I have to rehit versus like this cavity you can kind of see the lines of where i went up and down and did it laid it on i got my full inch but i mean it's not quite as pretty so just so you know and i've already gone back through and inspected the areas that i still have to kind of touch up that's what that black spray paint is and one more thing i have two 600 board feet kits um, so that first two part tank was 600 board feet. This was not 100 or 600 board feet. I mean, I did go heavy in some spots, but there are a lot of spots where I'm like even just shy of an inch. So I have this little pick right here marked, that little black line is marked at an inch. So I'll go through and uh, stab the foam and every so often to see if I've got my thickness and for the most part, everything's right around an inch. Some spots are just over, some spots are just under, but there are spots that are, you think you're thick enough, but it's like half of an inch, three quarters of an inch where I'm gonna have to rehit. And that's my kind of gripe because it's supposed to be a 600 square feet kit. I probably have maybe two thirds of that. I do have some foam spatter on the ground and whatnot. And that's what maybe a couple square foot. It's not like that much is spattered on the ground from like drippage. That's probably my only complaint with this is it doesn't go nearly as far as it says it does. 600 board feet is generous, I should say. So today what I'm gonna focus on is just working on this one room. The reason being is because I'm not gonna have enough spray foam to do everything I wanna do. So I'm gonna to have to order another kit. And that took two and a half weeks to get in. So in the meantime, I'll have other things to do. With those two rooms finished out, I'll be able to do the flash and bats, do my drywall and everything else in the meantime of waiting for that other kit to come in. Mm -hmm. 